Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War of the Chosen playthrough into the Void. <clears throat> Operation Half Dead Him is upon us where we are taking uh, the Iron Hands um, for the first time in order to free an engineer. And afterwards we're heading over and we're going to do the Esperance here. Trying to reduce uh, that... Oh, the Viper King is here. Mm. I haven't seen that. Oh, oh, oh. But we want to fight the Viper King first. So, it's time for Operation Spider Shadow is what I meant to say. And we got quite a few interesting uh, newbies. That Ataxia will hopefully maneuver well through that mission so join me as we're trying to get 18 corpses and reduce the enemy strength let's go very good neutralize all targets and we could use a skull check i don't think that we do have a skull check do we no, 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 no. We do not have a skull jack, but what we do have is a team of amateurs that are now uh, trying to go pro and learn a couple of things. And Ataxia is going to be their teacher. Archangel, Hedge Knight, Wolfgang. Copy that. Um, Dr. Noxus. Heading there now. Eris and okay. we got Maruz with the steady weapon. We're just listening to a couple of them move. I believe this would be Subject Gamma. Valen created a Viper King. Just what we needed. Hmm. The explosion would nicely get them down. Oh, wait, that would be such a great... Uh, first start with uh, the Viper King. We could unload completely onto them. Do we have stasis? No, we don't. That's the one downfall that we do not have stasis. Tell you what, how about How about we're moving not too close. Nicely spread out. Understood, move it out. Upper King is anyways going to come towards us. Trying to position ourselves in a way that we get a lot of Overwatch value. But that'll happen next turn. Next to the car is just as good because we can explode that with a nicely trimmed rocket. Okay, so here's the deal. We want a lot of overwatches to hit the Viper King. That's one. Um, I 
I like to think that that here could be a good option. Problem is, might need to use uh, our stun instead of the overwatch. Yeah, I'll keep the mind merge and then the soul fire. Not a lot of overwatch by thinking about it. I'm wondering if I should put one of these guys into overwatch and then uh, just accept that we're not having overdrive. I think yes, that could be a good idea. Okay. Good. Fully shredded. Nice. Good hit. That's all free damage. We're going to mark him. That'll make it easier for everybody else to just hit the Viper King. As it is going to, without a shadow of a doubt, slither its way. Raising shot. There is the frozen that we were expecting. It's interesting, by the way, that Holo Target actually triggered triggered the Viper King. Shouldn't have. Now he's uh, now he's fleeing. If we move in, he gets away. I would love to stun him if we had the chance. But we don't, so the best thing that we can do is a little bit more damage. Moves out, and we're okay. Understood. Moving out. Good, very solid first engagement with the ruler, by the way. been cool to get him down in the first uh, iteration wouldn't it On approach. On approach. Moving to position. Heading there now. Good, we're steadying. Reload. Nice, good first pack, good first pack. 
Okay, let's take a look what we're dealing with. Interesting. I think what we could do is get up here. And just fight on the rooftop, uh, on the bridge rather. But you know what I mean, on the high ground. Sniper moves up. Good, moving closer to them. Unfortunately for us, we can't really push anyone forward. We don't have like a reaper of sorts that can just in a stealthy fashion go forward. What we can do though is we can wait for cooldowns to finish and <clears throat> then we can carefully advance. It's two more rounds. Good time now to do reloads if needed. Good, steadying weapon. Got it covered. Setting Overwatch. Scan, priority Got it one. Covered. Scanning Overwatch. Got it covered. <clears throat> so, Edwin First Sergeant, Heavy Grenadier, Gunner. I think I'm going for the First Sergeant and start to pull them. Good hit. Oh, there is even one more. Yeah, Advent is becoming strong now. Moves to here. I think it's reasonable to have overdrive. The next are our main source of damage. Gunner. Disappointing 10 points. I was hoping for a bit more. Sentinel. Where are the big fat crits with a T and 3Z? Like those ones here. They're not bad. On your order. Could hit. Well, it's not bad. Might as well try to kill him. Ooh, that was a good one. I've done that move first to prevent so. to prevent things from happening. Um, might merge just so that we do have a little bit more of a buffer for hit points, and I leave one mind merge open. Plus, we can't command the max. Hmm. Very unfortunate. Scanning. Overwatch here. And I think as strange as it sounds, Wolfgang might be the second best Overwatcher.
this good uh, chance for us to reload I think holo targeting this guy is the right choice with a really solid position I would not recommend just jumping down there could be something down there I don't I don't want to risk anything <clears throat> instead reload good hit excellent hit to be precise oh we had free reload my bad okay now after that is done now we can start to carefully move up Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Heading to that location. All right, moving over. Overwatch, Overwatch here. Carefully moving around, I don't want to trigger that pack in any shape or form. Okay, that was a monster pack if there has ever been one. Okay, we do have a problem because the sniper is blocked from really doing something meaningful <clears throat> so <clears throat> how about we're just trying to reposition wait a little bit have a couple of drinks up here regain overdrive if possible That's very unfortunate. Wow. Eight? Eight enemies? I mean, please, come on. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Massive pack. But they clustered up, so uh, there is a bit of a failure in their strategy. I want to foreshadow what's going to come, but you will not like it, Advent. You will not like it. Moving up. Okay, come on. It must be possible to hit both. No, it's not. Okay, where did they? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there were more back here. Uh, 
Let's do this here. I think it hits the guys inside. Overdriving. That pack is just so good for shredding. Double Shredder very, very nicely softens them up. And you know what's almost as fun as Double, double Shredder? Damn right. It is the Flamer. Uh, kill two uh, mm, uh, without corpse uh, removal, but yeah, that's it's okay. I should be out there hunting. Good. Maroos can snipe one of them down if he finds the right one that is shield bearer mm -hmm. still a shield bearer Go. no stupid shields next round thank you All right, officer. Hit, but not a really critical one. Purifier goes into insanity. Did we hit? No. Officer dies. I want to make sure that we're killing as much as possible or as many of them as possible and we certainly don't want an elite lancer to roam freely Heavy Grenadier, more like good night Grenadier. Sleep tight, my prince. Uh, mind controller, yeah, that is, we're immune. Did I not take immunity? Come on. On your order. You sick little bastard. Here, eat this.
Um, yeah, not optimal. That's half cover. I think we're still going to proceed doing that. Priest will not die anyway, so might as well burn him into sustenance. Good, that breaks mind control. Fantastic. Good. We're reloading and auto targeting the purifier. Purifier is hopefully taken out. Yeah, I didn't get it. Gunner does not burn yet, but takes a lot of damage. Purifier. Really minimum damage. I hope. Well, it's still a 50 50 to take him out. We're more efficient in trying to just take him out. Unfortunately, that failed. to do it but I don't see another way it might take some explosion damage this pack was really beefy Good. He explodes, likely, and we're just going to take the damage with Ataxia. Better than the alternative. How? How? What? How? Are you kidding me? Since when does that override... Uh, mm, wow. Since when does... I think earlier in the playthrough I already had that problem. I seem to not have learned uh, from it. Unbelievable. I think that is an incredibly stupid design. Like on a scale from one to stupid, that is beyond idiotic. I already hated it that that the stasis always went uh, over Blade Storm, but this is a new level of idiot uh, idiocy.
Let's try to control this guy. Did we control him? Yeah, he seems panicked. Uh, we don't need reinforcements, although reinforcements would give us more corpses. I would say not the worst of ideas that you ever had, Saiken, but also not the best one. happy let's still move forward Long range and flank this guy Good. That was definitely worth it. On approach. That Archon needs to take damage. Lots of damage. I don't want to stand in the open, that is not clever. This guy is going to die. We're going to Proceed getting that spectre. I'm on it. And we're positioning us centrally. Well, it's not a bad position. I hope it's worth it. Noxus moves up. Tries to hit the Archon, and we're doing really solid damage against that Greater Archon. Huh? Why is someone panicked back there? Wait, can we still see him? No, we cannot. Uh-huh. Movement engaged. Initiating remote interface. So we want those reinforcements. Nothing. That's very suspicious. Moving to position. Heading out. 
can't find that spectre. Texia gets some extra hit points. Reinforcements. Good hit. Respectively, good hits. Unfortunately, the Archon just teleported away. And then nicely teleported in. And again, unfortunately for us, that guy just proceeded to stand all the way up here. Completely ridiculous, but the Great Archon needs to die first. Wondering how you even made it up here. But that doesn't matter now. We do have a problem. And you first of all need to be stunned. I'll take care of you next turn. Elite Purifier is being taken care of. I still panic. Elite Officer down to one. Okay. Take him out. Good. My mind is my weapon. Eight hit points stolen. That's what I want to see. Good job. Taking the high ground, moving a little bit further back. And we're moving over here so that next turn we can actually do a flanking shot. You know what? Why not? Let's take, take the trooper. Almost killed. This side here is very, very safe. Back 
Reload. Hit the guy. Almost killed him. Noxus cannot heal, so gotta be careful. There you go. I'm all out. Heading out. Laser shotguns are ass. I, I have no other way of putting it. They are not good. If you can crit, uh, if you can hit for two with a laser shotgun, then it's maybe just a warm uh, beam of light. Really? Not sure what that guy was eating for breakfast, but I can tell you. It was not the normal cereal package. Enemies are getting very, very, very tanky. When does Whirlwind proc? Good. It procs on a hit and not on a kill. That was the important portion for me. Overwatch. can tell you that um, that purifier was not taking any ca uh, hostages here he was going to town high ground getting the proximity to hit as well as we can Better aiming angles, still high ground. He's the last. There is no target diagnostic required. Uh, you just sucked at shooting them. Okay. Difficult mission. Almost have taken losses here. We have almost taken losses and there will be a couple of people uh, visiting the med bay for rather long times. But that's just the name of the game at the moment because uh, we don't have uh, powered armor and I have not researched uh, the bigger uh, chitin plate as, uh, platings as well. So yeah, not good, but at least we got a lot of promotions and it's not that bad. I mean, 18 days could be worse. Archangel, we're going to get Shredder. I really like Rainmaker, but Shredder, good. Monrose, finally, Sergeant, lovely. Um, I think maim is the way to go here, preventing enemies from moving good.
Yeah, Dactar and Oxus, I figured that would be the case. Nice little cyclic fire. That's going to come in handy. Wow, we do have unlimited power very often on many, many, many of our assaults. And it's not bad. So, yeah, we got quite a bit of loot and more importantly the corpses. The Archon Corpse will be super good because that means we can now build uh, the melee weapons, the best ones. Face walk good, but soul steel also good. Okay, so they are training. We're up to 10 wounded soldiers. How are the barracks looking, Sherlock? What is the status? So a couple of lightly wounded, I mean, sparks effect to do not count got five days dark tower here it will take a long time to get back wounded wounded gravely wounded squad management the aspirants um, you go out and we're assigning New soldiers. Got a full team again. And I think the Sisters of Battle are just still recruiting. Sharpshooter Assault. They could definitely use a Grenadier. Mainly because Grenadiers we do have plenty. And a Ranger. And that means they do have one more spot. Already got a Sharpshooter. Yeah, they will, they will find someone. We're soon going to um, have a few more. Technician, for instance, could be helpful. The Salamanders, on the other hand, they had the problem that they were not having a support. They do have Technician and Grenadier. I'm generally not opposed to two cover removals, but it should be not much more than that. Assault, Frontline, Sharpshooter, Gunner and Shinobi. So I think they all do have Bondmates, which makes uh, the call here very difficult. I think we're just going to assign an additional... Oh, we don't have one. We do have one corporal with lands here. Might need one more mission, but on the other, uh, on the upside, he would potentially get that level, also, in the salamanders. So, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, they need they need support. Uh, without the specialist, a lot of things are not working as smoothly. I noticed that. And they had a weird uh, a weird setup. It's not that they were too low on damage, but I, if you do have a technician, a technical, and a grenadier, then the moment that you're running out of uh, the consumables with both of them there is a significant drop in dps gunner and sharpshooter to a degree can kind of uh, keep up on it but the sharpshooter didn't have a good enough weapon uh, to make that one happen so you know what get the 100 percent chance for level up instead of taking our chances and we're going to have a mission uh, in the next episode. I think for now we're fine here. 
that was more of a na nail biter than I would have expected. And I originally wanted to do two missions, but uh, this one took longer and was much closer than anticipated. So we're going to cut it here and next time we're going to uh, continue. We still have not downed either of the alien rulers, but we got uh, the Viper King and the Berserker Queen at least shredded. So all we need to do is find them and uh, yeah, kill them. That's it from my end. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy uh, Long War of the Chosen, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.